first and foremost, I just want to say uh, I'm very upset with myself right now. I'm just filming this whole video and realize I didn't have audio. So cool, let's do it again together, okay? Y'all ready? Let's do it. All right. All right. Hey, welcome back, guys. I appreciate y'all for blowing up my last video. Um, that was super sweet, bro. Uh, not really blow it up. Uh, compared to some YouTubers, well, man, I know you shouldn't compare yourself to other people, but compared to some YouTubers, I guess I didn't get as many views. But, dude, for me, I'm, I'm able to educate the, the community. Hey, man, super freaking sweet. Um, I appreciate y'all for uh, subscribing. I got 41 followers uh, last time I checked, or subscribers. I didn't even know I had, like, uh, 41 people that like watching my stuff, which is cool. Appreciate that. Uh, anyway, hey man, I think it's no secret of why we're here, right? We're here because of shoes. Um, I think that this is a topic that is not covered enough uh, in the community as far as law enforcement, military, whatever it is, but specifically um, law enforcement. I didn't have anybody when I was in FTO or training or whatever it was say, hey bro, if your feet don't work, you can't be in the fight no more. And um, I think that's a good point um, that I was kind of thinking about. I was like, bro, I've went through so many different types of shoes, tested out so many different types of footwear, uh, and there's nobody uh, really broadcasting this idea. So today we're here to do that for you. I have a, a couple of pairs of shoes that I'm still currently rocking. Um, typically I don't try to keep old shoes. I've seen some videos of some previous military guys that have rows and rows of shoes. I don't know how y'all hold on to so many shoes, bro. Um, I got enough crap, uh, hanging out around here that I don't need old pairs of shoes hanging out, but Hey, kudos. Cause it's pretty cool. Cause now you can cover that kind of stuff. These are shoes that I'm still currently using. So let's get right into this. All right. First and foremost, if you're still working for one of those agencies where you got to wear the shined up boots and uh, have the whole trooper look every day, this is this is the one for you, bro. Um, I've worn several different types of boots, and uh, there was kind of like this mentality when I first got into law enforcement of like, hey, go to Academy, get yourself a nice $30 pair of shoes because shoes don't matter. What matters is, is the vest you got on. Or the belt you got on. Bro, well, I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not really into like wet feet or being uncomfortable. So I, I think that, you know, a good pair of boots or a good pair of shoes really does a lot of good justice. Uh, I wear this currently whenever I have to dress up in my class A and get my whole jazz on here. Um, I wear these for. Um, any type of special event or, you know, whenever I have to shine up my boots and look all pretty, uh, I don't wear them anymore. I, I used to wear them on patrol um, on the streets. As far as what I'm saying, I don't wear them on the streets anymore. Uh, I used to wear them when I was in patrol. After I got moved out of patrol, it's kind of like when the whole tennis shoes hype came out. Um, I tried to go back to them because I couldn't find any tennis shoes that I was really liked. Uh, and, dude, boots is just a thing of the past. Um, if you ever heard of like somebody saying, Hey bro, go get you a pair of Danner boots. Cause they're the most comfortable thing in the world. Bro, if you're not riding a motorcycle, please do not be wearing Danner boots. Uh, cause it feels like you're wearing freaking concrete socks. Um, other than that, that's a good pair. It's Nike. I don't know what they're called. Uh, look at me. I'm having a video and not even knowing what they're called. Uh, these are just, uh, the Nike, I don't know. They're Nike boots. Bro, get on. They're made by Nike. Get on uh, the, the Google machine and search them. You'll find them if you want a pair. Uh, I'll try to find them and see if I can't put it in the description. All right, next, we're going to get into the whole tennis shoe craze. So as I'm kind of progressing through my way in my journey along this, this, uh, law enforcement street i'm kind of trying to figure out um what shoes work best for me i can tell you now if you're going down to the local she shoe depot or academy and getting yourself the newest nicest pair of nike free runs 
uh, that they have, you're screwing up. If you haven't spent 10 hours on your feet in a pair of Nike free runs, <laughs> you'll only do it once. They wear out so fast, too. They're made for running, bro. They're not made for the hardcore wear and tear that we're going to put on them, doing the high-speed chicken feed stuff that we're doing uh, out in the everyday world of law enforcement, um, especially if you're assigned to, uh, um, let's say, a SWAT division or uh, narcotics or street crimes or interdiction or whatever it is dude you're putting a lot of miles on your feet and you're not really realizing it uh and it's really high stress um bad environments um if you're really not picking the most optimal uh situations for nike free runs so and if you like your feet wet which i don't like my feet wet go for it bro your feet are gonna be cool as hell though and you're gonna look cool as hell right because that's what matters just get don't everybody don't eat me in the comments and tell me how terrible I am. First up, we got the Solomon shoes. The Solomon, uh, these are the Speed Cross Fives. I do know these. Uh, these things have been my latest jazz on the street. I have been wearing them uh, for about six months to a year now, um, something like that, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, they're super freaking cool. They're super comfortable. Uh, they, they give you like 10 extra cool points, bro. And like chase criminals way better. Just kidding. That's a joke. Um, really they are comfortable. They're not waterproof. Um, so I am that guy that wakes up in the morning or before I go to bed in the evening and check the weather, see what it's going to be like before I pick my gear and, you know, decide what I'm going to, uh, go with for the day, you know, whether it's plain clothes or, uh, it's, uh, my uniform, what I'm going to wear for my uniform, what shoes I'm going to wear. If it's a nice sunny day outside, typically wearing these. Um, they have these cool little tightening jazzes on them. I don't really know uh, what Solomon calls these, but they're super cool. I'll get into to it a little bit in a minute and tell you why they're cool, especially for me. Next. These look kind of goofy because they're my training shoes now. Uh, they've had a lot of miles on them, wear and tear on them. Your little lip when your foot is in it kind of comes up like this. And um, these things are, um, they're not as comfortable as the speed cross. I don't know why. Um, I'm assuming because this is a more aggressive hiking shoe. Uh, but whoever in the SEAL team said, hey, we're going to pick out a hiking shoe and go track through the desert and uh, do high speed chicken feed stuff in it. Hey man, thank you for that. Um, because it has translated over into the domestic side and law enforcement work, trust me. Uh, Solomon's, um, these are waterproof. Uh, these are not, like I said, they're not as comfortable as the other ones. Uh, they are my training shoe now. I rocked these for about a year, year and a half, put a lot of hard miles on them and then they retired and hit the training. Uh, at the train and shoe division. Um, <laughs> train and shoe division. Uh, okay, so train and shoe division. Um, anyway, I uh, I mean, ultimately, I, whenever I get done with a pair of shoes on the street, training, um, they go to the train and shoe division, I guess, because uh, if it ain't raining, we ain't training, right? The whole motto, and that's typically how it goes. So I usually try to keep whatever good pair of waterproof shoes I'm using at the time as the training shoes. Because, uh, again, I don't like my feet being wet and nobody likes being miserable, right? So Wild Cross 2s, uh, those are super jazzy, super cool. Next, the On Cloud shoes. On Cloud, um, they made some really good shoes. Um, I had the other pair of shoes, the ones that were like more designed around running. Uh, and they're kind of, I can say that uh, they're comfortable, but they're more like the free runs. They, uh, they're they not designed to be on your feet for 10 hours out of a day. I don't know what On Cloud was trying to do with this, whether this was a rebuttal to, to some of the Solomon shoes or whatever else shoes are out there in the hiking world, but they did it with these. Um, I will say they're a little bit heavier than Solomon's. Um, you know, very, very minutely, a little bit heavier. Uh, they're waterproof, so if it's raining for the day, if you can't tell, they're muddy and they're all grummy here, right? Um, 
boom, there they are. They're, uh, had seen better days, right? Um, these are my waterproof uh, rain day shoes. So if I'm working and it's raining outside, we're running some warrants or whatever else, this is the shoe I'm picking. Um, and it makes for a very pleasant experience, especially the first time that you step off into that water puddle and your feet are saved by a pair of waterproof on clouds. Uh, the only thing that I will say is they're a little bit heavier than Solomon's. Uh, the shoelaces suck. They're terrible. I, sorry, on cloud. Make them better. Make them all with lock laces. Um, because that's what I run, right? So it's got to be the best. Just kidding. Um, I put a pair of lock laces on pretty much every shoe uh, that I wear now. Uh, because I'm either wearing Hey Dudes when I'm off or flip flops or these shoes when I'm working. And I will say that I don't care for tying shoes. Uh, and it makes it a whole lot, lot easier on my life whenever I, I roll out of bed, get out the shower in the mornings and throw my shoes on. And I don't have to tie my shoe or fight with my shoes. Especially after a nasty night and these shoes, some of these shoes are still wet or muddy or whatever else. So, lock, lace, lock laces, sorry. Lock laces, get you a pair. Next thing. Right, I know. You're probably like, bro. You just talked about every high-speed chicken feed shoe that has came down the pipe in the last 20 years. How did we go to Vans? Well, because uh, if they're good enough for the lords of Dogtown, they're they're into skating them, they're good enough for me, right? No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, seriously. Uh, I think that uh, there was a great uh, video that was put out by DJ Shipley of GBRS Group. Uh, much respect for that dude. He uh, he made a great video on it. I'm not even going to touch on, you know, really what what makes uh, skate shoes a good option. Go check out his video. Um, but CQB, uh, low vis stuff, undercover operations, stuff like that. Vans are the way to go. With a pair of lock laces is the only thing that I would suggest to DJ Chipley that he that he missed was the lock laces. Uh, but other than that, I mean pretty much it uh they're vans dude super cool uh if you're working in a plain clothes um environment and you don't really want to look too tactical while you're wearing uh your nice pair of blue jeans or whatever else wear your pair of vans uh i tried to be the chuck taylor guy um because whenever i was first coming around i was seeing all these undercover norks and stuff like that wearing chuck taylors Chuck Taylor suck. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do them. Uh, they are terrible on my feet. They they hurt my feet. Uh, and after wearing them for a while, uh, I instantly regret grabbing them out the closet in the morning. So, other than that, that's the wrap on shoes. Um, the best thing that I can suggest to you, do your research. Um, do a lot of online Googling. And unfortunately, in this uh, whole madness of... Uh, the, as your career goes on and you try out more gear, you're going to find that you spend a whole lot of money on stuff that probably doesn't work for you. Hey man, sorry. It is what it is. Um, but hopefully I can, I brought a little bit of closure to you, uh, today as far as shoes go, gave you some new ideas, some new companies to check out. Um, ultimately, um, you got to do your own research. Everybody's feet ain't the same, but I think it's an important topic that needs to be covered. Um, because like I said, nobody wants to be around like Lieutenant Dan with no legs. Ultimately, you got to have your feet. It is what it is. So other than that, I appreciate y'all for watching. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Give us a good follow and a like on this video. And other than that, keep rocking on, keep staying safe. And, uh, hey man, keep going, doing the Lord's work and doing it right. I appreciate every, each and every one of y'all. And um, happy Memorial Day, by the way, to all those uh, overseas guys that are doing the Lord's work over there. Appreciate y'all.